Hey guys, welcome back to another godlike episode of The Recipe. I'm Tasty Steve. And I'm Sajim. And you say golly for a good reason. First of all, there's a little bit of theatrics going on oh, in the yeah. background. Mm -hmm. But you and I get the pleasure of playing some Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. We're cheating. It's a little early. But Just don't even worry about it. It's like, it's like if you say something to the Capcoms, it's like you're that kid in class who's like, but didn't we turn in the homework yet? And the teacher's like, oh yeah, let me collect the homework. And you definitely didn't do and your And you're homework. not sitting with me at lunch, bro. In fact, no. I might have to challenge you and steal your lunch money if you snitch on me. That's uh, just the kind of guy I am. And the cameraman Anthony looked at me like, man, yeah, I might be the it, snitch guy. I don't want to be... <laughs> you know? He definitely turned in his homework. <laughs> so yeah, we have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in for, us, uh, for us today. We're just going to go over some basics. This and is true. the team I'm going to play is going to be... Super basic. So I didn't want to pick uh, characters that like I knew who were complicated right, or something. Right. So how I came up with the genius team of Ryu and Iron Man is I'm at the character select screen. And I Bam. hit A twice. That's what I, I have it. So I just want to start Got with it. Yeah. Uh, usually when I teach new characters to people or I learn want to learn characters, I usually start with random select or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's like the same idea. And for Stone, uh, I don't even... You want to just random it? That's just random it. We'll figure it out as we go. This is how you learn games. That's why we call this the recipe. Now, you have to remember that this is a good time to be a fighting game player, especially yes. for like guys like us who play like everything. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is the newest version of Marvel. And we know there's a lot of people out there. You might have seen us play Tekken. You might have seen us play Guilty Gear. You might have seen us play Injustice. Right. But we want to make sure you guys know what you're doing when you sit down and you play this awesome MCU-based Street Fighter versus Marvel Capcom game. That's actually what we want to do. So, without further ado, let's just get into the basics. Because like we said before, yeah. a lot of people movement-wise, this might be a little foreign to them. Even the right. fact that you're using two characters might be a little foreign to us. Right. So let's get into it. Yeah, if you're not used to playing a team game, or even if you are, like you play KOF, you might not be familiar with playing both characters at the same time. In this game, it's very important that you know both your characters. It's true. Uh, and that's because tagging is very powerful. We'll get into that later. So as far as movement goes, uh, it's a pretty normal fighting game. You know, I can jump, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Forward and backwards. Uh, I can walk forward. I can walk backwards. I can super jump by hitting down and then up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And I can super jump in different directions. Uh, so kind of like Guilty Gear, right? It was True. the same kind of movement. I can also kind of super jump or jump and then hold down, and that will give me like a little more of an angled jump. Yeah, it's like a floaty super jump. And this now this is actually a new thing that they've added. Um, I haven't seen this before in a Marvel vs. Capcom game where you have the option to super jump cancel. Well, with every character anyway, yeah. and get a new kind of unfloat state. I guess we're just showing it now because we don't really know exactly what to do with it, yeah. but the fact that it's there think, says something. Yeah, I think it's pretty good for starting up offense from, you know, about, I mean, I can jump like that and have an angle, right? A super jump normally, I would come down like that. A regular jump's a little bit more floaty. Mm -hmm. but this is kind of like a more direct way to cover distance or even create distance, right? If you're a zoner right, and you want to throw projectiles or something like that, that's helpful. Uh, so as far as other movement goes, you saw it already, this game has a dash, forward and backwards. Uh, but unlike a lot of other games, you can do it with attacks. So, ah, there you go. So if I hit both my punch buttons, I will dash. If I hold back while doing it, I'll dash backwards. Uh, so that's dashing around. You can cancel your dash by hitting down. So I can move around and kind of move forward and backwards by canceling my dash. And the faster you get, the faster you can move around the screen, right? So now, you can now, now, don't adjust your monitors or anything like that. Marvel vs. Capcom is not a, a slow-paced game. No. It is a really, really fast game. You guys are going to see it. Like, the more we get to play, it's going to get more and more hectic. You're going to get a lot more options than, like, in other games. Yeah. But overall, it makes for more of a fun time, you know? Right. It's a very fast-paced game. Uh, as far as normals go, you have a light punch, a heavy punch, mm -hmm. a light kick, and a heavy kick. So four attack buttons, right? Uh, and you can do them crouching. Uh, you can do them while standing, so they have different motions. So standing jab, crouching jab, standing heavy punch, crouching heavy punch. And crouching heavy punches are universally launchers. It allows you to take your combos up into the air. So heavy punch just hits like that. Crouching plus heavy will launch them and allow you to continue a combo in the air. Mm -hmm. And if I switch into Iron Man, it'll be the same thing, right? Standing heavy punch, crouching heavy punch will launch into a combo. So it's like one of those things where Marvel is a very air-based game. You fly around, That's you true. do a lot of stuff. Uh, and you can see Iron Man even has a different kind of dash than Ryu, right? He travels right. much further on the ground. Uh, so he's even a little different in the way he moves. Characters will be like that. They'll have weird 
kind of movement stuff that you have to know that's unique for your characters. But for now, we're just playing Ryu and Iron Man. So I'm glad you actually brought up the fact that this is kind of like a Marvel-based thing. The fact that it says Marvel first lets you know yeah. that like the dimensions of this game are all exaggerated to a Marvel-like essence. So like if you do a regular super move in, you know, say Street Fighter V, you get like a little tiny Hadouken that hits you like five times. But in this game, if you hit them, you get oh, I mean, you get a whole hits. bit. 28 hits. That's like 50 fireballs, bro. That's really not 50 fireballs, but you get what I'm saying. It's all exaggerated. I mean, that's why you can switch to a character like Iron Man and pull out a giant gun and shoot him. And you do get that, that kind of feel when you play the game that it's a really fast-paced game and it's really a lot of action going on. But that's why we're here to give you guys the ones and twos. Yo, you gonna camp? Tag cancel? Okay, all right. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. So. Uh, everything I've showed you so far is stuff that you can figure out by just loading up the game and hitting buttons. But mm -hmm. if you're ever confused, if you go to the pause and you go to command list, ah. you can look through your character's different attacks, right? So generally this is where I would start. So what I would do is kind of hit all their grounded buttons and see what they have. And then I would start to look for uh, kind of weird, you know, character specific yes. moves, right? These are all my special moves. So if you played Street Fighter, you know about Hadouken. You know that if I do a core circle and hit punch, I throw a Hadouken. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a light version and there's a, heavy, there's a heavy version of it as well, right? And, uh, you know, that's kind of stuff that you would figure out if you've played the game before, but you can see there's additional moves. Stuff like uh, Donkey Kick, which is the move Shoto on the bottom. Shoto that's what yeah. I like to see, man. Uh, core Circle Forward and Kick. This is a move that Ryu doesn't have in like Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5 even. So mm -hmm. it's something that you would have to experiment with in this game, right? It's like, if you're not familiar with that move, you have to mess with it and see, oh, it hits them off the wall. Yep. And then I can continue my combo after that. That actually just made me think about the combo we was looking at earlier. Like, yeah, now made you me think about that. it too. <laughs> uh, And so that's kind of stuff that you learn as you go through the command list and you look at all the different attacks, right? So even in stuff like unique moves, uh, he has, what is that? Standing light punch and a forward light punch, right? So it's probably like, yeah, he has a little card. Oh, wow, there. see, I didn't even know about that. Yo, yeah. what? And then, uh, you know, he Doing has- Doing hit, you still get the, oh, so yeah, you added that. Yeah, he has a kick, that. right? He has a kick, right? Yeah, so you can do, boom, and he has a little knee afterwards. But wait, wait, before, even more so, okay? Like, you know, like, I'm a Marvel guy. No matter how much you like Street Fighter, there is a no fathomable realm where Ryu stands a chance versus good old Cap of USA. America? Yeah. It's never gonna happen, bro. No, I like Ryu, or I like uh, Cap. I was about to say that. <laughs> Cameraman, Cap or Ryu, who's gonna win? Okay, yeah, all right. right. You see how he, 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 he knows, man. He knows the tech now. That's how you know the camera guy has been hanging out with us for quite some time. He's been around with us for quite some time. I don't know, you're like, why are we saying his name? It's because he hasn't heard the stripes yet. We'll tell you guys his name. You deserve when to he know earns his name. It. And when he deserves it too. So, so don't else, think I'm doing anything mean. Go, go ahead. What else it. I just learned while you were discussing things with our <laughs> cameraman is that he has a unique uh, air normal. It's forward plus heavy kick. So I learned that I can use that in the air that move, that little Ooh, that, right? Okay. He also has a uh, jumping light kick, down plus light kick, is his normal jumping light kick that he has in most other games. Right? Oh, all so right. So it's a little different, but. So it's still got a little more complication right. to it. A lot of people were a little afraid coming into Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. If they played other Marvel vs. Capcom games, then this game very... might be a little easier. I'm glad that they kept in little things like, you know, air normals and, you know, targets and stuff like that, even for the, you know, the hardcore audience as well. Right. So the unique thing about this game, it's very Guilty Gear-esque, or mm -hmm. if you've seen our tutorial videos on that, where you can chain attacks together. Yep. So up close, you've been seeing me do stuff like light punch and a light kick. And you just hit boom, boom, right? That's all I'm doing. It's boom, boom. Uh, you can chain those into something like a heavy punch. And then I can change that into my crouching heavy punch, which is a launcher. Okay. And you can do the same kind of thing if I have Iron Man in. Same kind of chain, right? Can I get us a try? Let me see. Yeah, this. go for it. So that's kind of the stuff that you expect from a Marvel game is the ability to chain attacks together. So a very common chain that you're gonna have is light punch, light kick, heavy punch, crouching heavy punch. And that will be a generic launcher chain, right? Uh, and you can do the same kind of thing in the air. Once you put them up in the air, you do like light punch, light kick, then you're gonna hit them with your heavy punch, then you will spike them back to the ground with your down plus heavy punch, right? Or with down and heavy kick, depending on the character. There's a really good example of that, actually. So if you launch in the air with uh, Ryu and you uh, do down plus heavy punch in the air, it doesn't lock them to the ground. Mm -hmm. If you do down plus heavy kick, or just heavy kick in general, actually, while you're in the air, it will kick them back down to the ground, right? You see that? And that allows you to continue your combo after. So that's kind of like how Ryu works, right? He has the ability to relaunch 
for combos with a uh, basic chain like that. And Iron Man can do the same kind of thing. I might, you might have to tag me back in. I might, I might have to, because this is making me say already. Uh, come on, give me this. Uh, I can't do this. I don't do know why I can't do that. So uh, the, the thing is, is you have to stick to the chain, Steve. Mm -hmm. You're trying to break the, the rules too God, much. Dang it. You ripped the hole in your jeans, and now you're trying to rip a hole in the <laughs> rules. Stick to the chain. Light punch, light kick, heavy punch, crouching heavy punch. Right, okay, that's the chain. And we're gonna do the same thing in the air. But with Ryu, it doesn't knock down. So with Ryu, I already have learned, all right, guess what? Heavy kick is mm. instead the answer, right? So I'm already learning stuff like that with Iron Man, for instance, in the air. Down plus heavy punch will spike them Actually to the ground. Actually give you the spike. Right, so that's you know a good thing to learn if you play Iron Man. Suddenly now you're like, okay, well, I can do boom and put him back to the ground. With Ryu, I have to do heavy kick, right? Mm -hmm. So you learn stuff like that as you play these characters. You know, just testing it out. I mean, neither of us know either of these characters since we True. just we picked just, them. We legit I've, just AA yeah. on the screen. So. Yeah, so that's like kind of how you learn with your character. As far as the corner combo, uh, you can do that, and then you can pick up the combo afterwards with an OTG. So something like that, and then do a normal combo, and the combo with a super move, and then you got 50% damage mm -hmm. already on a very simple combo. And what I'm doing here, this is gonna be a basic combo that pretty much every character is gonna true, use. True, that's true. Is this chain, right? Light, the two lights, you're heavy. You're gonna pick them up in the air, and after I spike them, I'm using a move that will OTG. That means off the ground. Off the ground. So if you wanna test what a good example of this is, if you throw your opponent, which is forward and uh, heavy punch, you can try to hit them after. And if your attack hits them, it's an off, it's an OTG, it's an go. off the ground. So in that same scenario, my crouching light kick, which is this button right here, will hit them on the ground and I'm just relaunching and doing the exact same thing. So I'm doing the same target chain that I was doing earlier, doing a Tatsu at the end, adding mm -hmm. a super, and with a super basic combo that we found in 10 seconds, I got 50% yeah. damage, right? It's a very simple idea, but this is something that you're gonna do with pretty much whatever character you're playing. Like Iron Man is gonna be the same kind of thing, right? I'm gonna do the same, Target, chain, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick them up off the ground, boom, spike them, and look at that. It's the same combo that I was doing with Ryu. Uh, when you get more complicated, you start adding in tags and stuff like that. You have more options with whatever character you're playing. Um, but you know, that's that's the most basic thing that you can learn is in a that's Marvel true. game, right? So you wanna focus on learning how to move around a little bit, right, how to cover the screen a little better than normal. You wanna practice your normal moves. Your and you also wanna make sure you go in the air. That's part of yes. the game. You're gonna, uh, different from other games. Where you can shoot a fireball in the air. For a good reason. He, he needs that in the world of Marvel heroes and villains, because a regular standard Hadouken is not gonna cut it versus, you know, the likes of Captain America. I mean, he can kick Captain America off a wall. <laughs> With that Shoto Gere. Boom! Launch them off the wall and get a combo after. The classic. They call. They used to call that the donkey kick. That's what they used to call. Yeah, it. that is the donkey kick for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I feel like picking up very simple combos like that. It's going to be easier in this game than almost any other fighting game. It's true. I mean, you know, it's one of those things where it's really powerful. We've done a lot of tagging, and I feel like that's probably the next mechanic we should this talk about. So in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, it's very free flow. You're going to be moving in and out of your characters a lot, and you're gonna have a button that's tagged. For us, it's the heavy punch, the mm -hmm. R1 button, if you're playing on PlayStation, and uh, you can tag anything. So you can just tag automatically, and your character will run in, and now I'm playing a different character, right? And it's very different from how it was in the other Marvel vs. Capcom game. Where they would come out to do a specific move, an right. assist, right? right. Uh, in this game, you can turn anything to an assist. So I mentioned that Ryu can shoot a fireball, but I can shoot that fireball, and then I hit the tag button, and now Iron Man's in. Right. And the same thing with Iron Man. I can do my Unibeam, right? Uh, it's a move like this. And I can tag Ryu in and go up and combo after. So right. that allows you to create kind of free form situations where I throw that fireball and I run in and I combo after it, right? And that kind of like unique scenario wasn't really in Marvel games the same way that it is in this game. Yeah, and typically it, it was back in the day, it was, you would set up an, a specific offensive stream and then you would try to use an assist from your character right. to keep that offense going. But in this game, you're actually gonna be playing a little more active, I personally feel, and you're gonna hit a button and you're gonna use that to start another offense with a different character. Right. That's if you didn't get the chain that you wanted or the stream to open up the character with the last one you did. So and you can tag off of anything, as you saw. I did fireball on the tag, right? That's a great example, a projectile to approach. Uh, you can do it off of stuff like uh, Iron Man has a command normal, this missile here. 
I can do the missile and then run up and combo off of it with Ryu, right? I can do stuff like Air Tatsu and then mm -hmm. run up and do it. So there's some interesting mix-ups that you can create really quickly. Let's say you're Iron Man, right? And when you uh, jump in the air, you have an air dash, right? Ryu doesn't have this air dash available, but that gives Iron Man mix-ups like this, where he can jump down and uh, catch you in the air. Now, if I do this input and then I do a tag, what will happen is Ryu will be coming in while Iron Man's going in for the air, Ryu can come in on the ground and go low at the same time. So I can create a mix-up that's like kind of hard to block just by using the tag mechanics. The very basics of a tag mechanic allow you to do stuff like that. It's really strong. And even stuff like, you know, side switching. So if I have Captain America right here, if I jump over him and tag, Iron Man comes in from the original it's side. Uh, and that tag will count as a hit. So if you look at the screen here, Captain yeah. America gets hit by that tag. So And you can combo off of it. See, that's a two-hit combo. So that's where stuff like, just even simple stuff like, if I jump and fly over like that and Ryu comes in, if my opponent's not ready for what side I'm going to be on, that it's be very ready. difficult to see, right? And that's like harps back to like Marvel versus Capcom playable. It's really hectic when it comes to the up-close game. Normally you have like, when old Street Fighter games, they have Ryu playing really, really slow. The gameplay is typically really slow. Right. But in this game, Ryu takes on a whole nother dimension because he has stuff like air fireball and because he has that ability to OTG and hit you. On top of that, you get another character to control at that range with more special moves and just getting in. So this is very much a different game than Ryu has been in if this is your first introduction to like Marvel's Capcom game. But that builds the hype. That's why this game has such a following because you take those characters mm -hmm. and you make them play a lot more actively. You give them a lot more pizzazz, you know, a little show, a little sprinkle to add it on to a little seasoning, if yeah. you will. It makes the game a lot fun, more fun. And as we mentioned uh, about how important tagging is, so I was doing that combo with Ryu, right, where I was just doing this, and then I would spike Captain America, and I was comboing. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I want to use both my characters in that, let's say I have Iron Man out, and I want to do that Tatsu combo with Ryu, I can do something like this, shoot him back to the ground, Ryu runs in, I can do my combo, I can then do my air Tatsu, I can then do my follow-up. So even if like you want to do a combo with Ryu, like you know an air combo with Ryu that you mm -hmm. really like, but Iron Man is in, it's not a big deal because I can just tag and now Ryu's in to do the combo, mm -hmm. right? So it's not like a, a typical Marvel game where you have to do the combo with your main character and DHC and do some right, stuff like that. Right. It even makes, and because tagging is a completely free resource, it's so powerful because you can do it all the time. I mean, I feel like there, if there's a situation where you can tag, you should almost always do it. Yeah, I feel Your like Your character that's is vulnerable going. after, though, is one thing to keep in mind. So, sort of like, uh, if you check out Ryu here, if I throw a fireball and tag, you notice that Ryu stays on the screen for a while, right? He's turned his back, but he's out there, and he's vulnerable during that time. So there are weaknesses to tagging, but in general, it's a very strong thing to keep in mind, right? You see how long he stays out there? Yep. Uh, but, it, you know, it's one of those things that it's worth it. And it allows you to create mix-ups. So Ryu has a very simple one. He has an overhead. You have to block that standing. And a crouching medium kick, which is a low. So anytime I force Captain America to block, I can do something like, uh, you know, I, th I throw him, I walk up, I go for my overhead, tag into Iron Man, I can combo. And you continue that combo. And on top of it, like you said yeah. before, when we showed you that first combo, it literally took half life. It took us like four seconds to figure Fine, out a combo, a very simple combo. that does 50% life. So that's how you know like small things like this is really going to open up the game. You're going to say, well, nobody's getting hit. And when you do, it doesn't take away that much damage. But just imagine if you roll it all into a package, they don't block that overhead. You switch to Iron Man and you open them up. You take off that 50% life and half the battle is already done. Yeah. And that's typically the overall gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom. Right. And that's just off my overhead. Yeah, if exactly. I can right? even, if I want, I can do low like that, right? And now I have a calm walk to low mm -hmm. too. Same thing with Iron Man. I can go for my tri-dash mix-up where I can jump and then pick up the combo with Ryu as well. And it's just so free flow. You can really do what you want and it's it's really crazy. It's really effective. It's a really fast-paced game. And I mean, you do 60% with two bars off of a, a mix-up, a high or a low. It's a really fast-paced, frantic game. In this game, you're going to get hit by people a lot. Uh, your, your characters will just explode, but you can do the same thing to them. Spontaneous combustion of damage. Yeah. Like, whoop, I got hit by a jab. He tag canceled. I just lost 50% of my life. Yeah, That's all the combos we've been doing have been starting with jab. It's not like the combos are like some crazy high damage pickup that we start with, right? We're starting with a crouching jab. Uh, and we're just turning it into big damage like that. It's that's just how this that's how Marvel goes, and that's something that you have to expect. 
I mean, and uh, with with that, you also have to remember, you want to play characters that you guys think are cool. Please, by no means, think that you need to play the most vanilla of characters. Yeah, don't play Iron game. Man Ryu unless don't, you want to. Exactly, unless you want to, because every other character in this game has so much that they bring to the table. They have brand new characters that are just introduced to the Marvel vs. Capcom franchise as well. So there's so much more in this game than just, you know, playing a smaller, not as flashy character like Ryu. But you do have an Iron Man. You have, like, a Jada. You have a Gromora from, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. You right. have, like, all these sick characters. You have a Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, you know? Yeah, and there's really easy ways to set stuff, uh, set stuff up with tagging, like we mentioned. One of the mm -hmm. easiest ways is if your character has a projectile. It's probably one of the strongest tag mechanics because if I throw a fireball as Ryu uh, and I tag cancel it, Iron Man, he's free to move around while that fireball is out. So it's very simple to set something up like, uh, you know, even if you, your, one of your characters has a projectile, right? Let's, let, let's not even think that about Iron Man having a projectile. Mm -hmm. If I can do something like throw a fireball tag, jump, and then go low. Oh right? man, that's pretty cheap. Uh, if I throw that fireball and then I decide something like I want to go high, then I can go overhead as well, right? I can do some kind of mix up where I go overhead. I can turn that into a whole combo. I can tag Ryu in after. I can pick up the combo with Ryu if I want. It's just a really effective right. kind of situation. You're going to have to switch in between your characters like that, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and it's a very free flow game. It's very easy to pick up new characters, kind of understand them because they all sort of have that universal chain, like we mentioned, in the air and the ground. Uh, it's going to be the same kind of thing no matter what, and, you know. And, and it's, it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely opposite from, like, the other games that we kind of sort of played where you have to you have to wait that much more when it comes to initiating that offense because you don't want to open your, you don't want to be susceptible to somebody else's. But in this game, it's all about who can initiate that pressure first. The first person that makes the other person block basically has the advantage, and they will continue to have the advantage until you get that tag, until right. you get that chance to start your own defense by pushing them away from you. Or just using your power stone on yeah. one of your stones. Now that is a, a story. It's a whole for another, another time. yeah. It's a whole another beast <laughs> entirely. The, the stones are something that you'll figure out individually, but uh, yeah, they all have their own unique uses. I have it a random and got double power. <laughs> which oh is, wow! Which is pretty funny, but yeah, I mean, we showed off some very basic examples of moving around and stuff like that with a random team, but. You know, that's just kind of how you have to look at this. If you're playing Marvel, mm -hmm. there's a good chance that your team, uh, it's going to be, you have to find stuff for it. That's because true. many other people might not be playing your team, and they might be playing your team in a different order. Like, maybe you play Ryu Iron Man, but I play Iron Man Ryu. Yeah. So there might be different ideas there about it. And maybe you play the Power Stone, but I play Time or Reality or something else like that, right? So there's lots of moments and lots of freedom that comes with a game like Marvel where you can sort of create new moments and new ideas for yourself that you know other people might not have. So it's, it is sort of one of those games where it is on you to come up with some fun stuff, but that's you know part of the process. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of those things where you have to you have to break down like the characters that you play with. Because I can tell you right now, even if you play the same characters in a different order with a different gym, if we come back and he's playing somebody like Nova Thanos and I'm playing like Mega Man X with Zero, like you're gonna see a completely different style of play from those teams, those characters, the stones that they use, the people that play them. So don't get me wrong, you're going to see these combos that start with like jab, take off half-life. But I'm telling you right now, when the game gets crazy high level, when we start commentating the game, oh, yeah. you're going to see people doing resets to reset those situations to get another hit and just kill that character rather than finishing a combo that does have life. By forcing somebody else to make another guess in the middle, it's that much more difficult for the person to come back. And to win the game, you do have to kill both the characters. Right. So you're going to get used to the pace of the game. And it might throw you off for a second, but I guarantee you, when you get in full swing of things, understanding your characters, your Spider-Mans, you know? I like I, Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play Spider-Man. <laughs> your Doctor Strange, you know? You still have Chun-Li in the game. Morgan's back from the other game. Like, yeah. there's such a creative cast of characters in this game, and it makes it all the more fun to play. Definitely not one of the games that a slower paced game, not a boring game in any stretch of the imagination. You're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of flashy moves. I'm, yeah, a, I'm, I, I'm just really happy that this game is actually out now because now we get to play it. And well, it's out for us. Oh, it's a, yeah. Not, yeah. Not for everybody just yet, but yeah. I didn't say it. He said that. I didn't, I didn't say it. Who knows when they might see this. They might see this when the game comes out, but you know, who am I to say? It's all, it's all about uh, what happens. <laughs> so, so just for educational purposes, what team did you play in the last Marvel vs. Capcom game? So let me see this while you're talking. Yeah, so in the last game, uh, I was playing Dante and Virgil Strider for a little while, uh, since I liked all those characters and they fit pretty well. But, you know, the thing about this game is that I feel like you can sort of 
piece together whatever team you like. Uh, and I think that that's the cool part about the game is that like no matter who you play, you might find stuff that is uh, interesting to do. Steve, were you not listening? What's the chain, man? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's, you let's stick, stick to, the, to chain. the chain. That one? Yeah, that's the chain. Okay, all right. You know, the problem Steve is having is that he needs to slightly delay. Oh, the last hit? Oh, the hit's a little bit. Each hit, you should do a little slower. So that way he lands and then has time to do the combo. Bam, we just learned it on the fly. Somebody in the co in the comments is already asking about it and we just we just solved their solution. Okay, all right. <laughs> before yeah. we even got before there, we before the video it. even finishes, yeah, just give just, them the tech. Yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of a good way to, to think about the target chains. Another cool thing about those target chains is that uh, you can always tag out anytime you spike your opponent back to the ground. You could always tag into your other character and pick up the combo. So it's not like something where, yeah, see, Iron Man can go down there and he can get the combo oh, after. Wow, and, like that kind of stuff is very easy to do. So if one of your characters, let's say Ryu is beat up, you're comboing with Ryu and you think to yourself, I gotta get Ryu out of there, right? I don't want him to take too much more damage. Then you tag an Iron Man and you let him finish the combo. So that's sort of like how you have to think about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of the unique thing about Marvel. Hey, look at you finding combos on I the am, fly. Man, I'm trying. I'm honest, we, we need to start talking about this time, this, uh, this, this power this gym. Power power. Yeah, dude, I think this is gonna be a... Oh, what the? Oh, that was godlike. Did you, I did you I... see that? That was sick. You see my boy Tony floating in there? Tell him, Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's like a new move. He didn't have yeah. that in the last Marvel game. They made him a lot different, it seems, in this game. Uh, oh my god, he even looks sick when he does it. The... Oh. He, just, he shoots out of the hand. <laughs> Yeah, he has a lot of new moves that are like really interesting, like that missile, that move right there is quarter mm -hmm. circle forward plus light kick. Uh, yeah, he has some cool stuff. I, he's definitely a character that was on my radar to mess with in this game. Also, yeah, we talked about mix-ups earlier. Man, there's some there's some stuff Look that we how found. Great you can do that. That's crazy. What? That is so sick. This dude, <laughs> this game is gonna be crazy. We already know. We we kind of already like touched on the fact that this game is really fast, but people don't really understand what's gonna happen when they get their hands on the game themselves, yeah. and there's con there's gonna be constant switching of characters back and forth. I think you can max, you can get more hits with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just do it three oh, times. Oh. Yeah, you can okay. you can input it three times. It's like a record. Yeah. You probably have to do jump H into it, is my guess. Uh, he kind of cares. You want to give this a try? Yeah, I, I, my guess would be jump H into it, but you know, or, or maybe this version. Hmm, and it, like the, the hard kick one actually goes up and the, the light kick one goes down. Oh, but if you hit the button, it changes? Yeah, or do you, you can control change it? it. So if I hit light kick, it's always down. If I hit he, uh, heavy oh, kick, it goes a different way. Oh, the plot thickens. Okay, all yeah. right, all right. See, this is what it's like to learn a character. You know, you gotta do one thing at a time. Yo, and, and then, then you, you, get the, and then you get the, oh combo after. my God, that was so sick. Uh, uh, uh. And then I tag into my boy, and then he hits you with the Shinku on the other side. That's, that's how life goes in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This is Infinite, actually, that's yeah, the one. This is, <laughs> how about this is a different one. But man, it definitely gives you the flow to be like really creative when it comes to like characters and teams. And even, like I said before, you have so many different options that you have at your disposal. Oh, you get the wall, this is the box off the wall still? Bro, that was pretty tight. if you can get it in the corner, and you can bounce off the wall, you'll get a full combo regardless. Uh-uh. Don't you dash after him, let's go. Oh, did you ain't get the show to get it though. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. Still a lot of damage, still looks really cool. It's really That was easy. like a, a two second corner to corner carry combo that we just invented while you were getting hyped and I was hitting <laughs> buttons. Yo, the dash up still get raw launcher. Now, OTGs is really strong in a game like this too, because you there's gonna, like I said, when I spoke about resets, that's what you wanna do. You wanna be able to hit somebody and make them instantly go into another guest. And whether that is stopping your combo early or ending it when they don't expect oh. it, that's one of the better things. I like the up. I can't believe this team works as well as it does, like, <laughs> ra man, randomly, right? Like, we just pick AA at, at character select, and it's like, they just have stuff that works together, I guess. Oh, oh, kick him dude. off the wall. Yo, you should definitely see yeah, if you can dash the over line. there and hit him again. Just do another launcher after you do, um, you get the wall bounce. Oh! Don't forget it. Oh! Let's go! Oh my god! I told you! I told you! Let's there, go! There is something there for sure. That's crazy. 
Mm. Man, what a character. Yo, Ryu looks like he hurts though. I mean, he will never stand a chance against my boy Cap, but he is looking like he is giving him them hands. Oh, oh God, just a little too fast. Raw launcher. What? Yo, he's you can still up You can do that. it off the whip of that? Oh, yo, you know what you can do also? So when you, you, yes, when you do that, you can continue the extension. So if you cancel on the third hit, then you tag and Ryu, yeah. you might be able to get another mix up or maybe just continue a combo. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, whoops. I should tag in. Chain, man. I gotta tag in my boy instead. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So. Oh, he still gets the bounce too. Yeah, and I have Power Stone, which also. Gives you, oh my god, my mind is working now. I'm yeah. figuring stuff out. So you get the wall bounce with Ryu, right? Run up, boom. Power Stone. Then you do. <laughs> I told you, man. I'm, it's starting to go. It's starting to work now. My mind is switching into Marvel mode. I can That's do it what happens. Yeah, you can do it in the air. No way. That's crazy. So are you telling me that I can do something like, and then do my normal combo, and then at the end hit the Power Stone? Hit and the then... Power Stone. Clench it. You got to cut it off. Ryu. Gets the wall bounce, relaunch, boom, off the wall. Okay, oh, and then I get super, off. I get super for sure. Yeah. Okay, I just, okay. I did it too slow. But the original combo still is pretty sick. Yo, does he have like super hurricane kick? Does he have like the lightning and stuff? That, that is actually pretty dope. Oh, oh, I have to do it a little later. Look at us, we're such a nerd. I know, right? This is, but this, dude, this is the discovery process. This is how you learn game. Oh God, that would have been so sick. Come on, Sage Jam, you gotta do it one time for the people at home. One time for the fans. One time for the hoop squad. Let's go. <laughs> one time for the. Oh, oh it's so that was so sick. Oh my god. I think I got it. It's the timing is much later than I expected. Yeah, I know people are gonna play the game. They're gonna be like, this looks like you're hitting a lot of buttons. There's still a lot of timing. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Oh my god. Yo, could you have switched back to Iron Man and hit? That's what I'm trying. Oh, let's go. See, this is the power of Marvel. This is, this is what gets me hype about this game because even though this game has limits, there is no limits. There Steve. is no limits. It's basically, yo, Marvel is Ben the Spoon. Infinity and beyond? Let, there is no spoon. Ben there the is spoon. no spoon. Oh, that's, that's actually so sick. sick. Wait, I wonder if, how do I do it? Yo, his... cameraman is telling us, cut. Give him one more combo before he cut the camera. All right, all right, all right. Quick, right. quick. What'd you say, camera? I didn't hear it. What? Yeah, what? what was that? What was that? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 Iron Man, Tony, tell him something, Tony. Oh, jump up there. Oh, oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I think I think I have an idea. I think I've come up with something let's even go. more slick than what we originally uh, uh, thought let's was Let's go. Sick. Off the wall. Off the backboard. Oh, wait, what is that not a real super? Yo, we got, come on, say damn, man. Come I'm on. I'm trying to more. remember how to do the, that's the one I oh, wanted. Oh, shit, sure. I'm going right, to right. hit him with the big gun. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Tag cancel. Tony Stark. The industry man. Oh, the dash right there is so hard. All right, this is the one. Cameraman, get I'm ready. sorry. Get I'm ready, sorry. cameraman. Your kids have to wait. Uh, Twist it right, you. Oh, oh the, not close enough. Well, he does have super. Yeah, yeah super okay. tattoo. Man, that dash after is so hard. I want to see what the animation for the. I haven't looked at any of the level threes yet. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. I think it's Why is this team so randomly yeah, I know, right? sick? Oh, so close. So close. God. We'll give it one more on one this more. shot. One and then more. if it doesn't work, Cameraman Cameraman like, can, oh, God. he can go home to his family, I guess. We'll let him go free. Oh, just too oh, early. so close. Your kids have to wait. Your kids have We're to going wait. into overtime? We're going into overtime? Tag, give it, get Ryu in there. He's got a family too. Here we go. I like the dash. Gets the launcher again. Off the wall. Oh, it's so oh, hard to dash right man. there. The Shinku is really easy. Well, folks, while he continues to do this, I hope you guys have had fun. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite should be out damn soon, if not right sure. now. Take you these guys. notes that we've given you and make your own combos, and we'll probably catch you guys online. I am Tasty Steve. And I'm mad I didn't hit that combo. <laughs> we'll see you guys yeah, next time on the recipe. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>